Good morning, children, youth, and families of Christ Church. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's begin our time together by listening closely to what the Bible might be saying to us here and now. Here is a story from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus left that place and went. A Canaanite woman from that area came to Jesus, and the woman cried out, Lord, son of David, please help me. Have mercy on me. My daughter has a demon and she is suffering very much. But Jesus did not answer the woman. So the followers came to Jesus and begged him, tell her to go away. She is following us and she's shouting. Jesus answered, God sent me only to the lost sheep, the people of Israel. Then the woman came to Jesus again. She bowed before him and said, Lord, help me. Jesus answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. The woman said, Yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat the pieces of food that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered, Woman, you have great faith. I will do what you ask me to do. And at that moment, the woman's daughter was healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I have a question for you. Have you ever heard the word unexpected? Do you know what it means, unexpected? In case you haven't, uh, something that is unexpected is something that is a surprise. It could be a good thing or a bad thing, but it's something that we didn't expect, that surprises us, that doesn't follow naturally from from what we were thinking about, that sort of thing. It's unexpected. For example, the other day, my husband and I were making dinner and we left several large steaks on our counter for just a few seconds while we attended to something else. Maybe someone came to the door or the phone rang or something like that. I can't remember exactly why we turned our backs, but we did. And what I do remember was the sound of my husband when he discovered that our dog Juno Jenkins, Jolly Rancher, had moved quicker than she's ever moved in her life and had grabbed the steaks and ran off with them. That night, we had to order from a restaurant. We had tacos. That was unexpected. Or what about this? The other day, I received a letter from one of you. I went to my mailbox and I pull out this letter and it was wonderful. It had a beautiful drawing on it and it made me cry with joy. Do you ever do that? Do you ever cry because you're happy? Sometimes I do and I cried with joy. This was unexpected, an unexpected gift, an unexpected blessing. I wanted to share this word unexpected with you because in today's gospel, Jesus does some pretty unexpected things. The story begins with a woman asking Jesus to heal her daughter. Unlike with most people, had Jesus instantly healed her daughter, that would be expected. That's what we sort of expect Jesus to do in the Bible is heal people. But he doesn't. At first, he just ignores the woman. That is unexpected. Then when she keeps asking him for help, he tells her he can't and he won't because there are other people that he is supposed to help instead. This is a very unexpected thing for Jesus to say. We know that Jesus is for everyone, but Jesus doesn't seem to know that he is for everyone yet. Another unexpected thing happens. The woman persists. She does not give up. Instead, she makes her case. She tells Jesus why he should help her. And do you know what? Jesus decides he will help her. She has changed his mind. Great is her faith. Jesus heals her daughter. What I like about this story is that the woman doesn't give up. It doesn't matter what unexpected things happen. She just keeps asking for help and eventually help is given. What happens when we ask God for help? I think first that we have to notice that we need help. We all need help, especially God's help. Sometimes we're not sure what help we need but that's okay. God knows the help we need. And when we go to God in prayer, God knows what's on our hearts and what we need. But sometimes when we ask God for help, 
Sometimes we don't hear anything back. It's like God is ignoring us. Other times, unexpected things happen, good and bad, but not quite the help that we were asking for. Then sometimes we get the help we think we need, and other times we get the help God knows we need. I think this story about the woman who wants her daughter to be healed by Jesus, I think it reminds us to be persistent. What is persistence? Persistence is when we set our minds to something and go after it, even when it's difficult, even when it seems impossible, even when there are unexpected obstacles in our path. That's persistence. This story reminds us to be persistent in our faithfulness, persistent in our prayer, persistent in our belief that God is for us. Each one of us is beloved by God, and that is good news. Before we close in prayer, I would like to say something else to you this morning. I don't know if you know this yet, but at the end of this month, I'll be leaving Christchurch to go do other work. You know, I'm a, a priest and priests have to go where they feel like God is calling them, even when it's away from people and a church that they love. And the same goes for people. People have to go where they feel like God is calling them, even when they're not quite sure what the ultimate destination is. We have to trust that God has something for us. Now, I'm not moving away, so you might see me around, um, and, and I really hope that you do, and I hope that if you see me, you'll say hello. I want you to know that it has been so, so good to get to know you and to see you at Christ Church and to teach you and to love you because I do love you. I will hold you all close in my heart no matter where I go next, and I will pray for you, and I hope that you'll pray for me. I want to thank you for your laughter and your hugs and your pictures and your kind words and your energy and your smarts and your faith. I have learned so much from you. You are powerful and you are teachers. Remember that God loves you desperately, that God wants you desperately, and that you are so important to this world. The things that make you, you are treasures from God. Don't hide them. Be yourselves. Love hard, 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 and shine your lights into the world. Friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And remember that I care deeply about you. And I'm here if you ever need anything. Let's end with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the unexpected ways you teach us and show us your love. Be with us. Help us to be persistent and faithful and remind us when we forget, because we will forget, that we are loved so much by you. Thank you. Amen.